All right, boys and girls. Today's lesson is interpreting numerical expressions. So if we're interpreting them, that means we're understanding them. We're able to, um, you know, figure them out, know what they mean, all that good stuff. Okay. So um, let's just get right started. We are on page 79. Michelle and Sandra belong to a remote control club. They replace the batteries in their cars once a week. How does the number of batteries Michelle and Sandra use in three weeks compare to what they use in one week? Okay. So let's think about what it says. Always write out what it's talking about. So they have a club. They replace the batteries in their car once a week. So on week one, um, week two, and week three, Let's see, Sandra and Michelle, and they each do it one time each week. So week one, they're doing two batteries. Week two, there's four. And week three, of course, there would be six. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so you can draw it however makes sense to you. You might even would have wanted to draw a picture um, or you might, um, not, you might want to draw out numbers or a table kind of like I did, but either way, it says, how can you compare those? Week one, we know they're using two, week three, they're using six. So think about, um, the numbers two and six, how many more, uh, did they use? So... Um, you could do different things. You could say in week one, um, they used two batteries. Week three, they used six. You could say they used three times the amount. Because 2 times 3 is 6. And we see they had 2 and then they had 6. So they did 3 times that amount. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and turn to the next page. All right, let's look at, um, actually, let's look at 81. Let's kind of flip on to 81. And I need to tear that out. Let me get that. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So on page 81, it says, Mr. Lou follows the directions shown when he flies his remote control airplanes. So there's our directions. Add 15 milliliters of oil daily. Add 5 milliliters of oil for each flight. How can you model the amount of oil he needs for one flight? So remember, daily he needs 15 and if he's just going on one airplane ride, then we would say 15 plus 5 because each flight we need to have 5. But what if he is, um, like B says, how can you model what he needs for one flight of four airplanes? So it's one flight, but it's four different airplanes. So for that one, you know, each airplane is going to need its daily amount. Each airplane is going on one flight. But the difference in this, and I'm going to put some parentheses around it, is that it's not just one plane. It's four. 
So you could put four times 15 plus five or 15 plus five times four. It doesn't really matter which way we put it. How do these two compare? Well, we can easily look at that and see how we compare. Um, B, of course, is four times larger than A. So let's look at these three, check your understandings. Number one says each month for two months, Kyle buys a pack of eight replacement tires for his remote control car. At the end of the month, he has one tire left. He has worn out. Explain how the numerical expression for the number of tires Kyle uses in two months compares for one month. All right, so um, for one month, remember he had eight and he had one left. So if he had eight and he had one left, I know he used eight minus, minus one. He, he used seven of those, all right? But so if this was two months that he had this, then it's gonna be twice that amount. Two months, two times eight minus one. Cause he's gonna use seven in that first month and in the second month, he's gonna use seven two times. So that would be that 14. So let's compare these. Um, the first one says 28 times six and 14 times six. We should be able to look at these and compare them without solving. Can you solve them to compare? Yes, absolutely you can. But let's look at these and think, can I solve them without uh, actually working it out? 14 times six and 28 times six. Hopefully you're looking at that and saying, of course this is bigger. You're multiplying them both by six, but you're gonna do 628 times here. You're gonna do 614 times here. So I'm gonna just write my symbol right there. 28 times six is obviously gonna be greater than 14 times six. Okay. Um, let's compare this next one. Three times eight plus six and eight plus six. Again, this one's gonna be larger because this is three times the amount of that one. So you could say this is three times as great. All right. So that's um, our lesson for today. Do your best.